Hey everyone, I'm Connor Palunda, Realtor with Moulin Betcher & Associates. Welcome back to my channel. If you have questions about today's video or are looking to make Saskatoon your home, all of my contact info is located in the description below. If you're selling your home in today's hot market, you might find yourself in the exciting yet challenging position of receiving multiple offers. But how do you choose the best one? In this video, we'll explore strategies for handling multiple offers on your home, maximizing your profit, and ensuring a smooth selling process. Thanks for joining me and let's begin. Receiving multiple offers is a great position to be in, but it also requires some strategic thinking. Here's the basics of what you need to understand. Multiple offers occur due to a few key reasons, those being market demand, in a seller's market, demand often outpaces supply, leading to a competitive bidding process. Pricing strategy. Proper pricing can attract numerous buyers, leading to multiple offers. And property appeal. Unique features or desirable locations can increase interest. Now, the types of offers you're likely to encounter are all cash offers with no financing conditions, making them appealing for quick closings. Conditional offers, which will depend on clearing hurdles like inspections, appraisals, or a sale of a buyer's home. And escalation clauses, where buyers have written into their offer they are willing to outbid other offers by a certain amount. So now that you've got an idea why they happen and what a multiple offer scenario may look like, what's the best way to sort through them to evaluate the strength of each offer? Here's how I would recommend assessing each offer. Starting with price. Look at the offer amount, but remember that the highest bid isn't always the best choice. Consider closing costs and any included buyer incentives. Take a look at the financing. Evaluate the buyer's financing terms. Are they putting 5% or 20% down? What does the deposit look like? The stronger the money side of the deal is, the fewer hiccups usually occur. And generally, cash offers faster closing time and with less risk. Are the buyers pre-approved? This is something your agent will have to find out for you, but the reason it's important is that pre-approved buyers have already secured financing, making them a safer bet than someone who's yet to look into financing. Next, what conditions have been placed on the offer? Common conditions you encounter are home inspections, appraisals, and financing and usually some form of municipal compliance checks. So if you're looking to increase the chances of your deal going through, offers with fewer conditions are generally less risky and faster to close. Next, what's the closing timeline? Align the closing date with your timeline for moving out. Flexible timelines are likely to be more appealing to you so you don't have to rush. Lastly, and this is a smaller one, but personal letters or waivers of conditions can indicate serious interest. So if the buyer took time to write you a letter and included it with their offer or indicated that they'd look uh, at considering waiving some of the conditions, you might not want to write them off entirely. Now that you've evaluated the offers and see where they stand, it's time to pick the best one. Selecting the best offer involves more than just looking at the price. Here is how I would go about selecting the best buyer and deal on a property. First, if there's a ton of offers, you'll want to consider letting the buyer's agents know uh, and request that buyers submit their highest and best offers. This can help uh, you see who's truly serious. Next, consider countering offers to negotiate better terms or prices. This can involve price, conditions, or closing dates. In highly competitive situations, serious buyers are more likely to discuss changing their offer or accepting some new terms from you. Next is to understand and evaluate any escalation clauses, which automatically increase a buyer's offer if a competing bid comes in. You'll want to make sure that the rest of the offer makes sense and is solid before just taking this offer to trigger the highest dollar amount out of all the offers you have. Part of that will be to evaluate the buyer's stability, check if the buyers have stable financing and a reliable track record, reducing the risk of deal failure. Finally, balancing price with terms. Weigh the monetary value against offer terms. 
Sometimes a slightly lower offer with better terms can be a better option for you and your family. So all of this is just fine and dandy, but if you do find yourself in a multiple offer scenario and they come flying in left and right, it can be easy to become overwhelmed. I'm not exaggerating, handling multiple offers can really take an emotional toll. So to finish this video off, let's go over how to manage expectations. Number one, stay objective. Focus on facts and numbers rather than getting emotionally attached to specific offers or buyers. Number two, realistic expectations. Understand that negotiations might take time and some offers may fall through. Number three, clear communication. Keep communication open with your agent and potential buyers for transparency and smooth negotiations. And number four, avoid emotional decisions. Make decisions based on long-term benefits rather than immediate emotional responses. By following the strategies in this video, you can confidently navigate the often hectic process of dealing with multiple offers and secure the best deal for your home. If you're looking to make Saskatoon your home or live here and are looking to make a change, all of my contact info is in the description below. I'd love to help get you into your perfect home. And if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.